Do you suffer from slowdown problems? Let's get this fixed. Coming up in this video, how to get your audio playing back to proper speed. So a few of you guys have contacted me with a problem where you've created audio files, put them on your transmitter, and they're playing back at half speed. So how do we fix this? It's actually quite simple, and it's probably just one step that's been overlooked. So what we're gonna do is plug this into the computer, and we're gonna take a look at the audio file. So I'm running 1.2 on here. So all I'm gonna do is plug in the USB and from the options, I'm gonna choose Free Sky Suite on the transmitter. If you're using pre 1.2, you'll need to put it in bootloader and then plug your USB in. But now that's all plugged in and we've got our USB drives. What we're gonna do is go into File Explorer and I've actually got this stored on the NAND drive. If you're using an X20 or using your SD card, you would look in SD and audio, but I'm using NAND, so I'm just using the NAND file and audio. And this is the file that was playing NFS, so let's take a listen. I feel the need, the need for speed. Ow! Okay, so that sounds like normal on the computer. So, What's going on? So in my video showing you how to create these files, I used a tool called Audacity, and that's what we're gonna open now. So let's go to Audacity. And what I'm gonna do is just drag that file into Audacity. So what we can see is we're at the correct sample rate. So we're at 32,000 Hertz, but the problem is it is a stereo track. What we need to do is make this mono. This is why it's playing back at half speed. So to do this, it's nice and simple. We're just gonna to go to mix, and mix stereo down to mono, and that's it. We can now save this file. So we go file, we need to do export. So export as WAV file, and it's on my desktop. So we'll save and overwrite that. So I'll just close down Audacity, and I need to open the file explorer again. And I'm just gonna overwrite this uh, old stereo file with the mono file. So let's just replace it. We'll close everything down and disconnect the transmitter from the computer. So last step is unplug the USB cable. Let's try that sound file again. There we go. Sounds much better now, sounds the correct speed, everything's good. So I hope you guys found this video useful. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to click the subscribe and bell icon to get more content like this, but also to share the video with more people. So that will help get them playing all the over right speed as well. Thanks for watching guys, fly models like you stole them. See you on the next one.